Did you know that there exists an ancient book that contains a secret that had been hidden for over 4,000 years? Did you know that this secret was only revealed during this past year? Did you know that it required the technology of our day in order to discover what the secret was hiding? Imagine waking up one morning and discovering that the planet Jupiter had collided with a rogue planet. What thoughts would be going through your mind? Would you think of how this would affect the Earth in the years to come? Or would you just glance over the information and continue with your day? The secret that was discovered describes just such an event. It reveals major celestial upheavals that will begin in September of 2017, starting with a collision between Jupiter and a rogue planet. And it provides a roadmap to the culmination of an extinction level event that is set to occur on March 28 of 2021, when the Earth will encounter this debris field. The book describes a very unusual and unique celestial alignment that we now know through technology available to us has only occurred twice in the Earth's history, having approximately 6,000 years between these occurrences. The first instance is seen in the heavens on August 5th, 3915 BC, and the next occurrence is currently in the making, and concludes on September 23rd of 2017, a date that every person will clearly remember one way or another. The celestial alignments involve the constellation Virgo, which is in labor for nine months, being pregnant with the planet Jupiter. She is clothed with the sun, has the moon at her feet, and wears a crown of twelve stars on her head. These two alignments are linked to a prophecy and a vision in this ancient book that describes major celestial events to us, telling us both what will happen and when to expect these events to occur. In both alignments, Jupiter is the focus of the action. The moon acts as a trigger or marker to indicate the relative position of Jupiter in the constellation Virgo when the prophesied events will transpire. Three of the stars in the crown of Virgo's head are wandering stars or planets, and they convey a specific message that links the events described in the prophecy and the vision to their respective alignments. The first event in the sequence involves a cataclysmic collision with Jupiter as soon as it is birthed from Virgo's womb. In addition to this, the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet, which impacted with Jupiter in July of 1994, was a sign given to us to mark the area on Jupiter that will be affected by this collision. If you think that this is just a hoax, wait for September and then keep an eye on Jupiter around September 9th or shortly thereafter, to know that this ancient book was not written by a person who is bound to space and time, and contains the absolute truth. The second alignment marks an event that will occur two weeks later on September 23rd. After the first event occurs, you can have 100% certainty that the second event will also occur, as the first will be a sign given to the world to point to the more important event occurring on September 23rd. The events that will occur on this day will affect every person alive on Earth in a very profound way, and you want to be ready for this when it happens. To find out more about what will happen and how to be ready, please watch the videos in this channel, where more details are provided. Your life literally depends on it. You are welcome to download and share this information free of charge, and details are given in the description below. I hope that you will be prepared for what is coming. I am a truther and warner sent by God, the Most High, and I don't care how you feel about that. There is always cause and effect. Something calls what just happened in Texas. Something calls the devastation and that something was a Nibiru flyby that devastated Texas. People began spotting Nibiru on the 20th of August, five days before the Nibiru flyby caused a massive devastation. And I want you to really see how close these meteorites are to us because the countdown has began. Yo, what is this, bro? It's like stars that are moving, bro. What is this, bro? Ha 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 ha!
that wild, dude. Yeah, who's recording this? So I thought it would be cool if I recorded too, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, what is this, bro? Is this Dragon Ball Z? I'm freaking out, man. Oh, it's moving. See that shit? See, it's moving. It's moving. It's I ain't bugging out. I ain't bugging out, bro. I knew I wasn't bugging. <laughs> Hurricane Harvey came ashore as a Category 4 storm north of Corpus Christi, Texas on Friday night, August the 25th, 2017, as the strongest storm ever to hit United States since 2005, but probably ever, they be lying. It became a tropical storm Saturday, but has resulted in wide-scale flooding in Houston and devastation. Pretty much the morning before it struck, Nibiru was spotted again in the sky by a Texas man who saw it from his pool while he was swimming in and recorded this. And again, look how close this thing is to us because we literally have no time left. I noticed someone I was in my pool. Oh my God, people, I can film it for hours. I'm soaking wet because I was in my pool when I first saw him. I saw him when I saw him. Okay. The air balloons. I don't know. They're extremely high up. Uh, I mean, how is it that they're making formations? I, I don't understand these things are making formations. Keep watching, Mom, because they're rearranging. Seriously, they are rearranging. I can't see it with my eyes anymore. Oh, there they are. They're way over there. I think the bigger ones are the coordinators. They range from when I first saw them in color from white, orange, and red. And now they're Pretty much white. But they keep grouping and spreading out and changing formations. And these are the idiots caught in the devastation caused by Nibiru because they are too fucking ignorant and hard headed to listen to the warner sent by God so that they could have been somewhat prepared for what was about to take place. They could have got some boats. They could have got some sandbags from in front of their house. They could have did something. They could have lifted their furniture off the ground. They could have done something. You know? Uh, you saw those old folks in the house. It is not a UFO fleet. It is not an anomaly. Now, let's darken it and see it up close this is the same damn thing in the dark in the dark you would say this is a meteor I mean this this is a UFO fleet look at it no it's the same anomaly called Nibiru going through the sky as you get close you see those lights turn red see me and my family are pushing full steam ahead to prepare for this meteorite strike and we are working feverishly night and day in the 110 desert heat it, it ain't easy for us to meet the devastation that's coming upon this earth stop being stubborn as sheep listening to the devil worshipers who have the demise of all mankind and in, in, in their mindset you listening to people who worship in devils that hate mankind who always tell you truthers like me are false nothing's gonna happen why something is happening all the time we seeing the effect but what is the cause it's time to snap out of your spell and face reality before you end up far worse off than Texas rap the news